Hi everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the Sales Mindset TV show. I'm Chris Edwards and I'm here with Santa, Steve Knapp, <laughs> Steve Knapp everyone. <laughs> oh yes, it is Christmas week it after is. all. <laughs> this week we're talking about <laughs> Spank Op. We are, we are. Because we're, we're talking about how to identify and convert um, your target audience. Yeah. Uh, and Spank Op is massive in this, isn't it? Definitely for your mindset as well as actually making sure you've got everyone organised correctly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let me just pick up straight on, on that. Uh, also, I feel so, quite, quite self-conscious wearing this T-shirt, but I've got to, got to get over it. It's a mindset thing, right? I wanted to be Santa, but I wasn't allowed. <laughs> a little elf. <laughs> uh, so, last week we spoke about some of the maths of selling, right? Yep. And we spoke about how, how target setting gets you that clarity. Now, one of the things that helps you understand that is your sales funnel. And we've gone through Spankop um, before. But why is, why is that so important about identifying the ideal prospect from a mindset perspective? I, I mean, I, it's because it gives you confidence. It can help grow your level of confidence around not only do you have enough in your pipeline, but you can start to see your capabilities and performance at each stage so you can start to overcome some of those concerns you might have about talking about price asking for the contract asking for the order because you can actually see you're quite effective at it yeah or on the flip side you can see where some of your struggles are and Spankop can help you focus on that development but we talk about that in the new year when we talk about self-development <clears throat> Because um, last week we talked about setting meaningful targets and a lot of people were coming back saying to us that they don't think about their churn rate when they set yeah. the meaningful targets and they say, right, I need to get 100 people by the end of the year so I'm going to speak to 100 people. It's going to be great. But they don't think about that not every lead mm. becomes a sale. Yeah. And that's important with Spankop, isn't it? I mean, it's really, it's really important because... Um, there is no point just filling your sales funnel with a universe of suspects that are just going to artificially fill some data but actually become a sponge on your time. And, and that, that's one of the, the risks here if you think that everybody is your ideal prospect. You know, they are not... And we talk through the week about how you can ensure that you are putting the right prospects in your funnel at the suspect stage. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, well, obviously, I know you're feeling very uncomfortable in your Santa. <laughs> I've got used to it now. <laughs> We're going to be wearing these all week. Oh, gosh. I didn't realise did that. that. I didn't realise that was the deal. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, top tip. Yeah. Top tip. So, the first one to make sure you're putting the right things in your sales funnel is be clear on the sector that you win in more often than any other sector. So that's kind of looking at your current clients, your existing clients, you know, your previous clients and understand what sector they're based in. Yeah, because if you're winning in a sector now, you've probably got something right. And there's a high probability that that should be a place you double down on. Cool. So build your funnel around your success and recognise the sector you're more likely to be successful in. Brilliant. Um, sorry if it seems that um, I've been getting distracted during this uh, TV show today. It is really hard to concentrate <laughs> when Steve's in a Santa T-shirt. Um, <laughs> But thank you all for listening. Uh, it is the run up to Christmas now, so we've got a couple more videos coming out uh, this week. Uh, and then we're going to be taking some time off over Christmas uh, before picking up in the new year. So make sure yeah. you tune in. Do comment. Let us know what you're going to be doing over Christmas with regards to your sales targets. Do download the Spankop. If you need Spankop, let us know and we will get that over to you. Uh -huh. uh, from me and Santa Claus here, um, <laughs> we thank you so much for tuning in. And we look forward to seeing you later on in the week.